I'm back. Yeah, I had a lot to I had a lot to do. I had um finals, and then when I got off of finals the last two days, I haven't been feeling that great. But okay, I'm I'm good now. I'm on summer break. I can do this stuff now. Um, okay, so before I jump into this one, I'm just gonna say. The movies are going to be easier to do, so I might do two a day, so I'm probably going to do this one and the second movies today and have them both up tonight sometime. Um, I'm going to save X Evolution for last because it's by far the longest and has the most to go over, so I'm going to cover all the ones that are tied into the season before I hit X Evolution. Um, I've been reviewing with some friends of mine. Um, with the Digimon Fans United group. I don't know if you've seen them or not. I'll put a link to the channel down there so you can find them. It's me and a bunch of my friends who do our own reviews for there. I think we have Glory Crosses on some of them so far. I think he's going to be a regular member of the group now. Um, we've kind of got one part of a Digimon World uh, Dawn review. I mean, not review, playthrough up. Um, Let's go check that out. Um, I'm still I'm still thinking of some ideas of what to do after I'm done with the movie reviews. So I'm I'm probably not gonna worry about doing Sonic stuff because I don't have a way to get gameplay footage. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now that I get all that out of the way. Time to start the movie reviews. So I'm definitely gonna start at the top. It's like I always always do things in chronological order. <laughs> it would bug me if I didn't. So I'm going to start off with the very first movie. Now, in Japan, this movie came out a day before Adventure started. Like, we got this, and then the next day, the first episode of Adventure aired. Now, in America, it wasn't necessarily the case, because it was the first third of the movie. Um, so for the movie reviews, it's, it's going to be easier for these reasons. The stories are short. There's no character development because, like I said, the characters are based off of characters established already. And it's going to be mostly story and opinion. So, <clears throat> the story basically is, it's, it's, I'm going to put it this way. It's basically the, the thing that they try to remember at the beginning of the Myotis Monarch. Um, the episode where Garudamon fights Mammothmon. I keep from trying to remember it was a bombing or a terrorist attack or something on our neighborhood. And they're trying to remember what it was. But this is basically that story. Um, it basically starts off with Ty and Kari are like little kids. I think this is like three years before Adventures started. I want to say it's three years before. And the electric electrical things go crazy all over the city as a the GA comes out of their computer and hatches into a little Pokemon, which is the little black thing with yellow eyes. <clears throat> I don't have an interesting way to s yeah. And they him and Kari kind of treat it like a pet at first because they don't know what it is and they try to hide it from their parents. So after they feed it some and after a little time has passed, it eventually turns into this. A Coromon. And it still acts like a pet and all. And there we go. Look at the camera, Pinky. Good boy. And they, it, <clears throat> it begins to talk to him after a while. It gets in the fight with Nico, which was kind of funny. And, you know, it, it talks to him. is like, hi, I'm Kari, and this is my brother Ty, and I am a Coromon. And it poops. <laughs> that was funny, he like poos and Ty just picks him up. Like, ee. Um, so they keep feeding him, and one night he looks sick, and he turns into this. Well, we know who this is, but your head is in the loose. Uh, he he's a lot larger than he's supposed to be <clears throat> he jumps out the window with Kari on his back because Kari wanted to try to stop him and he goes on a rampage to the city basically and Ty goes to chase him down 
Um, this whole time, the parents don't know what's going on. Nobody knows what's going on. And as they go through, another egg opens in the sky, and it believes the parrot mom. And this thing starts attacking things, and the Agumon tries to stop it, and he can't, because he's too weak. So, due to trying to protect Tai and Kari, he ends up turning into, yeah, I know, this. Which, don't get jealous of because I have this. I've had this thing for years. <laughs> he turns into a Greymon. Now, he's he's bigger than the Greymon from Adventure, just like the Agumon is. And, yeah, that's not going to work. <laughs> I'll just hold him like this. <laughs> oh, man, that looks so stupid on camera. But I regret nothing. He ends up... I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> <laughs> Looks so stupid. Um, he ends up getting into a fight with the parrot mon and ends up losing, breaking the bridge, which they referred to a lot, saying that the bridge was blown up. Well, that's basically what happened. Parrot mon hit him. Greymon flew into the bridge and it collapsed. Now, while this is happening, you can see Matt and TK, Sora, Izzy, Joe, and Mimi watching the fight now it's explained in it later in adventure what this led to um <clears throat> Kari tries to blow the whistle to wake him up and she's getting sick or something typical Kari especially in the, her early years she must have had a weak immune system or something and Ty ends up blowing it wakes him up and Greymon blows him and the Paramon to pieces and that's it. I mean, it's a, it's a simple story. It's mostly to explain why the Digi Destined, why they were chosen. Because they said people who witnessed the event firsthand are the ones that were chosen. <clears throat> Ty and Kari were involved. <clears throat> and then the others watched it. <clears throat> so, I mean, <clears throat> that's basically all there is to the story. Um, I, I will touch on the characters. Ty and Kari, I mean, they're younger. Ty is, oh, he's a goofball as a kid, and Kari is just, I mean, she's, she doesn't change. Even in her younger years, she was calm and happy and stuff. So, what can I say? I mean, it's, it's the movie, the thing that started everything. It's a funny, goofy little movie. Its importance is only to explain why they were chosen to be the Digi Destined. It's nothing special. There's nothing real special about this movie, you know? It's just kind of there, aside from explaining who was chosen and why. But it's still funny, it's nice. It's the very first thing. And um, out of the three movies that were put in the English version, this is the one that was changed the least. Um, it's basically the same thing in the English version. Um... <clears throat> so, yeah. Not much to this one, really. It's like, this is just the beginning. Go watch it. It's only like, what, 20 minutes or something? Go to YouTube, because Anime 44 doesn't have it up. They have, where it says the first movie, it has the entire English thing. So I had to go to YouTube to hunt it down. That one in. And the Sabres movie, for some reason, I went to watch the Sabres movie on Anime 44, and it brought up the English dub episode of the one with um, Yo uh, Yo uh, Yoshi dating that rocker who had the caramon in the place of the movie. I was staring at my computer like dumbfounded for a couple minutes. So, I mean, it's, it's nothing to it. So I'm probably going to cut the video off right now and go right into our war games. I'm going to put them into two separate videos to make it easier for everybody. So, I mean, it's an okay movie. Mm. The next one, completely different story. <laughs>